It's Gekrons. And uh, I'm going to be watching one of Cynthia G's uh, videos. Why Kako so it, like I don't even know how to begin to pronounce that. Somebody should teach this bitch the English. It's Caucasians. Not Caucasoids. Um, are superior to black people when who date them. Okay, no one ever said that white people are superior, only dumb, idiotic women that are black. Should I say most black people who have their head up their ass? The arrogant ones, the ignorant ones. The ones that were born in uh, seclusion from white people and never really got to know them. Cynthia, I'd like to see how many white friends you have. And whether they're all a bunch of white apologists, dumbasses. I apologize for nothing of my heritage. Nothing. Because I can't change it. But you're yet to figure that one out. So, well, let's dive head first into this crap and let's see what she has to say. Hey guys, so I'd rather better do a video and then I was sitting here thinking about the fact that tomorrow morning will be the inauguration of the basically the second coming of Hitler. I talk a lot about how the Oh I see this one was made during his inauguration. You know, Donald Trump, that whole fiasco where a bunch of black liberals, white liberals, pretty much liberals in general went postal all around the country of the United States, trashed up the place like a bunch of whiny little bitches because Hillary lost. She didn't just lose, she quit. I mean, let it go. Trump's not Hitler. Everyone's not perfect. And I don't think Hitler killed too many black people. I mean, he went after Jews, but that was about it. And homosexuals and so on and so forth, all because he was an insane asshole. And you're going to throw that on us for how long? Really? Trust me, black people can be racist too, and Cynthia G, you're the perfect example of it. Let's uh, hear what you have to say because you compare all white people to Hitler. And so do your supporters because they're brainless zombies. So let's continue to hear what she has to say. Have yet to change and how we have this fight to end white supremacy. Now, I've had many conversations with black people and I spoke many times about how we need to look at our actions and how they're not how they're not conducive to the liberation that we ask for. I don't see many of you in chains, shackles, or working in the cotton fields. So what liberation? You've been liberated. You're just too stupid to let go of the past. Seriously, let it go. And before all you black supporters and all you liberal jack-offs and all you morons with half your heads up your asses start coming at me and the people that actually support what I say, think about this. If there was white supremacy, do you really think there would be any figures in politics, let alone a black president of the United States of America, if there was white supremacy? Do you really think that? We would allow that shit to happen. Even though I live right here in good old Canada. <sighs> Yet you fuckers seem to march up here too. We've never had slavery. You guys are just too stupid to read a history book. So, at least the intelligent black people out there, you guys are alright. Because many of you that actually have a brain cell don't come onto my channel and start spitting a bunch of bullshit that makes no sense. That is not conducive to your whole we have intelligence 
when you spit idiocy. Let's continue. We have this fight to where we'll march, we'll pray, we'll plead with, with evil Albanoid devils, we'll argue with them. We'll you ain't gonna get too far with that bullshit, woman. That's racism. Thank you for proving my point. Congratulations, Cynthia G. You just failed the I'm not a racist test. You fucking idiot. Strive for them to see our fight. But then when Nobody's we don't, gonna see your we continue when you're to do the same out. thing. We continue to respond to them the same. We continue to give them a benefit of individuality that we don't give each other. We continue to not hold them accountable for a system that they protect. A system that gives you liberty, freedom, rights, and a hell of a safe country to live in. Yet you guys seem to blame Whitey when shit goes wrong. Read the fucking stats that say uh, how many people are killed by the cops per race. Try that once in the United States alone and you'll see that more white people are shot and killed than blacks. So, um, not seeing your argument, all I'm seeing is a bunch of stupidity. And I like how you find the one picture that really doesn't help your cause. That guy doesn't seem like he has a superior attitude to the woman he's dating. I think he really does love her. And she seems pretty damn happy about it. See, this picture doesn't show that there's white supremacy. This shows the exact opposite. It shows that racism truly doesn't exist. I mean, that's a smart looking couple. And I hope they're watching. Hey, I hope you guys are having a good time. Good job, buddy. It looks like you nailed a beauty. Hey, hell, look at that smile. That's that would brighten up anybody's day. Come on. And those eyes, they say, I care. And that smile on him is no, no, uh, no second fiddle here. I mean, they're both equally good-looking people. What's the fucking deal? and benefit from and we continue to absolve them from any responsibility of having to um, deal with ending the racism that they created. Now if you look back in history, despite all of the atrocities of these evil Albanoid devils, black people have constantly and consistently tried to intermesh with them. Even during the height of segregation, during the civil rights movement, when they were getting completely battered and bruised and beaten, black people during a poll stated that they would want to, um, they were more for interracial dating between black people and white people than white people were. We complain about white supremacy, but then a lot of us will engage in actions that directly says the group of people who have been subjugating us and, cl and claiming to be superior to us are actually superior. Do you know how many... No, your, your weak little mind keeps telling you that every time you see a black woman and a white guy or a black guy and a white woman. Clearly these people that are in, I guess, interracial relationships clearly don't see color skin. They see somebody on the inside where it really counts. You see, the message I've been trying to send to you morons is that skin color is skin deep. It's skin fucking deep. We all bleed red and we all die. Yeah, some shitty shit happened. To cultures all around the world, every culture has been a slave at one point. And this is the message I tried to send to you morons, and all I got was a bunch of rhetoric, false facts, complete and utter bullshit, and a bunch of ass kisses of yours, Cynthia. So maybe you should take your channel, take it down, and go read a book. Because in 1802, the British Empire was putting an end to slavery. They weren't ramping it up, they were trying to end it. And all intents and purposes, they succeeded.
But slavery kind of morphed into something over the years. It was called human trafficking. And guess what? It happens in Africa every fucking day. But, uh, okay, I see, I see where you're going to go with this. Um, it's okay if blacks do it to blacks, right? Well, the blacks were doing it to blacks even back then. They were called war criminals. I brought it up in another video. Go look that one up. Usually conquered tribes were sold as slaves in the African culture. And guess what? The Arabic countries were buying you guys a lot, a lot sooner than we were. We only did it for not even as long as they did. In fact, we were trying to shut it down. Now, I'm sorry, the probably 0.2% of Americans back in the day owned slaves. <coughs> and what's funny is uh, in, the in the Confederate Army, there was plenty of black soldiers that were fighting for the Confederacy. History. Cur encourage you to go look it up. Encourage you. There's plenty of videos out there. Look up black people and the Confederate flag. You will see. Alright? Just like I see a bunch of idiotic liberals that unfortunately share the same skin color as me march around saying that there's still white supremacy and they're apologetic dumbasses. I'm sorry, we've created a system where you can be free. Yeah, there was a few mistakes and we fixed them. It's just not good enough for you. I've rambled long enough. I think I've proven my point. Any Let's continue. black man I've seen on Facebook campaigning to date white women while complaining about white supremacy. Now, if you sit here and think about that, how does it make sense? Because we are in a war, you can guarantee the minute that Donald Trump gets inaugurated, you're going to have a bunch of hyper-aggressive evil, evil Albanoid devils, male and female, okay? It is amazing to me how black men can say that they don't like white male supremacy, but they tend to exempt white women from that. It is amazing to me how black women can complain about sexism. How it is amazing to me of how much bullshit you can spit since Donald Trump's been in office. He hasn't done a single thing to reenact white supremacy. He's actually taking tremendous strides to make America great again. What's your problem? You want know the ultimate slavery for any country is, is when a good portion of the population is a slave to welfare. Food stamps. Because it's enabling laziness for you not to go out and get a fucking job, be a productive member of society. Now, I'm sorry you guys feel inadequate next to a white person. You shouldn't. Because we've been trying to show you that, hey, we're all equals. There's a lot of us that think along the lines I do. I don't give a damn what your skin color is. I could care less. Because I'm going to judge you based on the person that's within you. Not by your skin color. I'm going to judge you for the merit of your character. Not your skin color. That's the point you seem to miss. The racism you're talking about has long since died. White supremacy has long since died. You're just too stupid to see that the funeral was yesterday. What you need to do, Cynthia, is go out, maybe meet some white people, get to know them, and you will see, once you get rid of this, uh, I see racism everywhere, idea you might find you won't have your head up your ass and to all your supporters I say the same thing go out talk to a guy like me be polite be respectful you'll get the same you walk up and call a white guy a honky or a cracker or an albino devil expect hatred because that's racial slurs, you morons. That is racism. 
<coughs> you don't want racism, racism to continue? Stop talking about it. Morgan Freeman said it best. Just stop talking about it. By bringing it up every fucking time you talk about different cultures, and then you get to the white culture and go, well, they're just a bunch of white supremacist assholes. Talk about judging an entire culture. That is, that is, that is definition racism, Cynthia. So when I call you a fucking racist, it has merit. It has fact to back it up. And it has the dictionary definition. You moron. Not the little definition you guys tried to rewrite for yourselves. So you don't have to be part of the... Well, our group can be racist. Any group can be racist to another group. Any one person can be racist to an entire race. And you've shown that you are 100% racist. So why don't you try owning that once? Pull your head out of your ass... And stop being like America back in the fucking 50s and 60s and seeing communists in their soup. You should stop seeing racists everywhere you look. Get a thicker skin. Get a tougher hide. They can complain about patriarchy, patriarchal societies. How can how they can complain about oppression by women? How uh, oppression of women? How they can complain about? <laughs> Yeah, well, they're just the feminist movement is just as stupid as the Black Lives Matter movement. There is no systematic racism, just like there is no systematic patriarchy. It doesn't exist. That's just a bunch of people turning a bunch of soft-minded dumbasses into a bunch of fucking sheep. They'll jump onto any bandwagon they see that is cool in their eyes. It makes them out to be special. If you believe in third wave feminism, oh, you're special, all right. You're third, you're short bus special. And if you believe in the Black Lives Matter movement, you're again, you're short bus special. So pull your heads out of your asses. Try actually talking to people, and uh, get rid of this snowflake attitude. Rape and all these societal injustices that are created by white men. Again, that affect, negatively affect black women and then go align themselves with white feminism and lay up with evil albinoid devil males. How do you not understand that by action, you are telling these people that they can enslave your, your people for hundreds of years, they can put you through a hundred years of Jim Crow, they can lynch your people by the thousands, they can feed your babies through alligators, they can skin you and make... Well, that's a new one brought up. I never knew that we were feeding babies to alligators. I figure the uh, the dumbass ass wipes that did own slaves were probably going to keep those babies to grow them up, get them strong so they can work in the goddamn cotton field. Why do I have a feeling you're full of shit? leather products out of them they can um use your your body parts for souvenirs they can enact mass incarceration they can lock you out of the workforce they can we cannot lock you out of the workforce because of affirmative action we do not do mass incarcerations just on a fucking whim you have to have broken the law and you were proven guilty and when in a court that assumes your innocence you're innocent until proven guilty in the court of law in north america that goes for, because the law is colorblind, predominantly, there are a few shit cases, because some people had their head, their ass, so they made their assumption. You can't fault the entire white race for that. That's a few assholes. But most of us are not like that, but you guys are too stupid to see it. No wonder you're a fucking hated group. By everybody. Not just whites, there's plenty of, a lot, actually there's a lot of people that don't want to associate with you. Unless we know that you're not an asshole. They have a history of pillaging, raping, murdering you. They can sit up... So does your culture. A, they can set up a system designed to disenfranchise you. Hell, no we didn't. They can go out and literally slaughter your people out on the street and you will still lay up with them and advocate... We do not slaughter your people. You slaughter each other in record number compared to everybody else. 
to date them. Now, most of you can, may sit here, and a lot of you... And actually, all the other cultures are more likely to get killed by you than uh, you by any other culture, so... Try again. Let's see how much more bullshit you can spew out. <laughs> probably do and act like you don't understand why you being with the group of people that you complain about is problematic however the reason you have no what's problematic is your constant constant mindset of being a racist bitch towards everybody so maybe you should uh, check that attitude at the door before you go outside you might actually not be hated you might actually have people like you if you actually give them a fair shake you might be surprised. I've got question is because you have no self-esteem. If you had self-esteem, you would see the flaw in that. Because Wow, you are a bitch. You're calling your own people low self-esteem. Nice. That's a little uh, indicative towards the Black Lives Matter movement that is supposed to empower people. A little uh, contradiction, don't you think? You might want to rethink this video. In fact, I think you might want to take it down. See, when I call you a racist bitch, fact. Let's see how much more hatred's in this video of almost 12 minutes. When you engage <coughs> in, in marriage, sex, procreating, and relationship with the very group of people who have a history and present interaction of trying to destroy your people by any means necessary you are telling them by action you are superior to me so you have no right you have no right to speak out against white supremacy when you are helping it none of you have any right to speak out against white supremacy because it doesn't exist except for the what three thousand to six thousand members of the kkk Big deal. Look at the size of the white population. I think that's fucking peanuts. Compared to the rest that actually have a brain. <coughs> we're not living in the past where slaves were a great thing in their mindset. I don't know what the hell they're smoking. Slavery was never widely accepted. So I don't know what the hell you guys are smoking either, but I think you might want to quit. And also, Cynthia... You constantly bashing on your own people, not helping them. If they want to be with a white person, let them be with a white person. If they want to be with a Mexican, let them be with a Mexican. If they want to be with a Chinese, per Chinese person, let them be with a Chinese person. It's none of your fucking business who the hell they're dating. Just like it's not their place to speak out against something that doesn't exist in today's day and age. Okay? Nothing like white supremacy of back in the fucking day exists because not really, it didn't really exist. What we were doing was we were working towards civil rights. And when Martin Luther King Jr. came along, he kind of gave it the much-needed much shot in the arm to make you, make you guys equal in the eyes of law. Granted, we didn't really help a whole lot, but we tried. We worked on it. Most of the United States, there was no segregation. Anywhere north. You're free to do as you please. You came up to Canada, again, you're free to do as you please. Is that your problem is you guys have the slavery on the brain. You think you were all you're all slaves. You guys were not slaves. Your mommies and daddies weren't slaves. Your granddaddies weren't fucking slaves, neither were your grandmamas. None of you, for three fucking generations or more, were ever slaves. Yes, your ancestors were slaves, but does that give you a right to keep bitching? No. Get over it. It's just like the Jews con consistently bitching about the Holocaust. Get over it. It happened how many years ago? I think it's time to let it go. You want to move forward? Stop living in the past. When you are sending the message globally that this group of people is superior to me because I'll still let them lay up no matter how much they do that. And to add insult to injury, you get on social media and you complain and demean and degrade your people who have never done even a fraction of what these people have done to you. So yes, they are. They get on social media and be mean and degrading to you because you guys are still bitching about like spoiled little children 
that don't know the real facts of it all that it's over. It's been over for years. It's been over for decades. It's been over for centuries. Slavery has been over for a very long time. Officially, in 1802, when the British Empire put a fucking stop to it. And at the end of the Civil War, when the fucking Union took the Confederacy down. You guys just didn't know when to let it go. It's history. View it as such, but living in the past and move fucking forward. Otherwise, those of you that still keep bitching about it, expect that kind of treatment. It's gonna happen. If you don't like it, then stop. Silently loathe everybody. But stop voicing it because it's pissing the rest of us off. All of us. I'm talking not just whites. I'm talking the blacks that don't support your bullshit. I'm talking the Asians, the Latinos. All of them are getting sick of it. Any of them that have an ounce of intelligence in their head, which is a quick fair margin because your movement's fucking dying. The only reason it's actually gotten any kind of support is because of NAFTA. Other than that, your movement would be a forgotten fucking note in the history of the countries. And we'd be better off for it, except for when you guys go to do your little peaceful demonstrations where you guys burn half a fucking city because you're destructive, spoiled little college-based assholes who have your head up your ass and you wouldn't know the real world if it smacked you in the face with a shell. Are superior to you. They are superior to each and every one of you who decides to lay up with them despite what's going on. You are in a war, and if you don't understand that sex as a strategy of war, then you will not survive it. Now, you can sit here and talk biblical principles, you can sit here and talk conspiracy theories, you can sit here and talk about the universe enacting judgment, but. What you guys are talking about is a conspiracy theory because you're a bunch of fucking crazy nut jobs that nobody really takes seriously. But they should, because you guys are a serious detriment to the race relations in Canada and America, you fucking morons. Why do you think when the judgment <coughs> comes to them, it won't come to you? Because you have to have the same mentality as them to be able to lay up with them, condone their behavior, pass the message to their superior, and then not require them to work to break down the system. Now, you can say that the, the person that you lay up with didn't directly enslave your people, but they sure do benefit from it. They're Does anybody else believe half the shit that's coming out of this bitch's mouth? Because if you do, you're an idiot. Pretty much everything she just said in the last six minutes and ten seconds has been nothing more than the biggest pile of bullshit known to man. <coughs> She's talking about conspiracy theories? That's all she seems to live, eat, and breathe. Is one giant conspiracy that she thinks is still going on. There's no fucking war. Besides, nobody with half a brain wants a race war. Because that would just be a bad fucking idea. Too many bodies in the fucking street. You people are fucking morons if you support that. White, black, don't matter what your culture is. If you want a race war, you're a goddamn retard. Retard. Your ancestor sure did do it. If they're not solely responsible for eliminating this system, regardless to whether they created it or not, then who is when they're the sole beneficiaries? No, we're not. If it's not their responsibility and their responsibility alone... It's not a responsibility because the system that exists today is still fucking great. You guys get affirmative action. You want to get rid of that? You guys are more often not to go on food stamps and... Welfare. You want to get rid of that? <coughs> you don't like having a right that most white people will never get to know? You want to get rid of that? Because I think we can build a very equal system. <coughs> Where it doesn't matter what your culture is, you're equal to everybody. No matter what. So that means you can get rid of uh, affirmative action, welfare, food stamps, um, low income housing, you just get rid of that. Because uh, that would just solve the ghetto fucking problem in a heartbeat. You can also get rid of uh, black colleges, black scholarships. You can get rid of uh, all black only bars. Anything along those lines, which I'm sure there's still a few that exist. They existed back in the 80s. My dad actually got taken to one. 
because his friend was black and didn't realize. <coughs> you can also get rid of all the cultural clubs that are geared to one culture. Get rid of them all. So, uh, yeah, are you sure you want to get rid of all that? Or, or you just want to be able to commit crime, not get punished because the Black Lives Matter movement supports fucking criminals. Known criminals who are shot and killed because they tried to kill cops. You guys are too fucking stupid to realize that. You put them right up on a pedestal and wonder why nobody likes your movement. Nobody buys into your bullshit. Except for the soft-minded dumbasses that want to have victim point speciality. <clears throat> Let's continue. To stop perpetuating racism that can always <coughs> be perpetuated by them, who is responsible for it? Because while you're out there absolving them from their responsibility to stop a behavior that only they engage in, you're saying that it's your responsibility as the victim to stop a racist system that you didn't create and that you don't benefit from. The only racist that I can hear right now is you, Cynthia. <clears throat> Yeah, I already know this video is going to get so many comments from your little supporters. Which is going to be fucking priceless because it doesn't really affect me too much. Because I just consider the sources. So, uh, the only racist is you and your little supporters who use that vile trash like uh, white albino devils, uh, pink ass, uh, cracker, honky, stuff like that. That vile trash. <clears throat> Racial terms. So, only white people can be racist? Well, you guys are so sorely wrong. Very wrong. You guys don't realize it, do you? I can't wait for you guys to get smacked in the face with the shovel of life. And you wake up years down the line bitter, miserable little pieces of shit, and on your deathbed, you wake up, and you realize, I lived a shitty life, and if there is a God, he's probably sending you downstairs, <coughs> because you became the very thing you hate, racist, and that's what's going to hurt the most, and we see it. Those of us who actually know what a racist looks like and sounds like, we see it. And we see you very clearly. And if you think that you're going to lay out with them and give them everything, and then they're going to stop being racist, you're sick in the head, and you need to check, you need to find some self-esteem. Pray for some self-esteem. While you're sitting there campaigning to date a group of people who aren't fighting for you, you need to campaign for some self-esteem. From what I see on Facebook, you would think that white women are out there rallying for black men rather than creating laws to get them incarcerated. We live in a mass incarceration system and you need to ask yourself, black men, how many of those laws that put you behind bars were instigated by white men? How many of your people had to die? How many men, women, and children were slaughtered? Just how long are you guys going to keep bitching about it? Because I don't see too many men, women, and children slaughtered by white people mysteriously. In fact, uh, Little Miss Black Queen. Black women are one of the more violent people on this fucking planet. Because <clears throat> you guys seem to make the news quite frequently doing some pretty vile shit. Stuff that make most of us go, what the fuck was wrong with that one? So I'm not even going to, uh, you know, I will continue this video, but after this, um, Cynthia G, I think you might want to go see a fucking therapist. You have got some serious mental illness problems. Go see a therapist. I don't care if he's black, white, Chinese, or whatever. Go see one. I don't care if it's a female. Go see one, please. After the world of the white man, <coughs> mind you, they still have the same mentality. They're still doing it today. No, we're not. So, yes, when you lay down with them, when you date them, when you advocate for them, when you put them on a pedestal, when you defend them, when you absolve them of their responsibility, you might as well wear a shirt to say, I am inferior to white people. <coughs> 
No, you should wear a shirt that says, I am paranoid of life. We do not continue on with slavery. We do not continue with uh, oppression. The only real oppression in the black community is self-oppression. You guys oppress yourselves because you live with this stupid mindset that everybody's against you. Nobody's against you. Let me ask you something. I get so tired of hearing ax. Let me ask you something. It does, that's not a fucking way to say that. Let me ask you something. Have you ever stopped, went outside, and just, sit, just sat there on your porch? Just sat there. The crack of dawn. And waited for everybody to get up and go, you know what, today is going to be a great day. Probably not. You'll probably wake up in the morning and the first thing you think of is everybody's fucking racist. Everybody's against me. <clears throat> the world is run by crazy white people that just want to slaughter me. No. I'm sorry, but I'm going to wake you up on this one. So hopefully this is the uh, little smack in the face that might actually wake you up the only person that's against you is you you are your own worst enemy if you believe <clears throat> that white supremacy is still going on today okay do you hear me you're the only one that's oppressing you <clears throat> you can do whatever you want Morgan Freeman Will Smith, Michael Jordan, hell, Oprah, great examples, hell of a great example of what anybody can accomplish when they put their mind to task. Oprah Winfrey is probably one of the wealthiest people on this fucking planet. <coughs> You're telling me you can't be like her because there's a system against you? That woman proved there is no white supremacy. You got people like, uh, oh, hell, you look at the Mexican community, there's plenty of good examples there, too. Great examples. Antonio Banderas, one of the greatest actors. In my opinion, I think he's fantastic. Like his movies. Will Smith, loved him in Men in Black. And I liked, uh, oh, uh, it was... What was the name of that one? It's where he's with. It's a movie he did with his son. Um, ah, fuck! It's gonna come to me. I didn't mind that. I don't mind Will Smith in anything. Really, he's a good actor. And Tanya Banderas, great actor. Morgan Freeman, great actor. I'd watch anything with that man. He has a fucking fantastic voice, and he can act. What am I seeing is him doing like a, a, a role, like a main role with uh, someone like Anthony Hopkins. Those two voices, oh my god, that would be awesome. <clears throat> you might as well say that while you're walking around talking about how swirling and how much you're down for swirling and all of this deeper gang and interracial love. There's only one way, by the way, and it's definitely not towards you, it's you loving them. You also need to wear a shirt that says, I am in me, that I am inferior and beneath this group of people because I think you're still... Oh, uh, you know what? We're not even going to finish because she's just full of shit. And it's just, it's now just a fucking repeat. It's going to be the same bullshit over and over and over again. Seriously, you're going to be on about fucking interracial relationships? Are you stupid? Are you nuts? I think that's the ultimate expression that there is no racism except for in your own damn mind. In the minds of your followers. But you might want to actually tell them to stop watching your channel because it's just breeding hate. <clears throat> You're the reason there's a race division. In America <clears throat> and in Canada. And guys like me are tired of seeing it. We're sick of it. You call me a white supremacist. You couldn't be further from the fucking truth. I want to see things actually truly equal. You don't want... You want to be equal to white men? Stop taking government handouts. <clears throat> Let's start with that one. 
Alright? Because it seems to me that you people just have your head up your ass if you believe this shit. All this woman spews is hate speech. Pure and simple. Just pure and simple fucking hate speech. So get that out of your mind. You're only oppressing yourself. Because you talk about black pride and you're just shitting all over it. I think if you're black, great. If you're white, great. I don't give a damn. I don't judge people based on their skin. But to uh, this bitch's followers, apparently Cynthia G does. Bitch, that's got her. That's it for this video. If you want to watch the rest of it, just go to Cynthia G's shit house channel. And you'll be able to see how many mindless followers follow her ass. Uh, let's keep the subscriptions going up. So, uh, as I always say, like, subscribe, share. Comment down below. If you're a supporter, fuck off because I don't need your shit. Because, frankly, your comments are becoming a repeat as well. It's the same crap over and over and over again. I've pretty much went through my Cynthia G Still Sucks video and literally crushed you all. I crushed you all in that fucking video. You didn't get it. And I will be re-uploading a new version of Cynthia G Please Go to Hell. So look for that video because that title is going right back up on my channel. Whether you like it or not. That's it for now. I'm Gekron saying... Take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a good day. <clears throat> Unless it's getting close to being the evening time, then I say have a good evening. Spend time with your family. Have some fun. If you're single, go get out there because you're ready to mingle. And uh, have fun. Remember, be safe about it. Disease is always on the rampant, and I'll see you guys in the next one.